Hello everybody, it's the Drumkin92 here bringing you some more Attack of the Silver Souls on the Attack of the B-Team Silver Swords server. Where last we left off, we uh, had a bit of a block teleporter fail. I did not realize you could not use it. Trans dimensions? However, I have some pretty exciting news. Uh, the server I updated to the latest edition of Attack of the B-Team, which means... Little snack drum roll. Bibliocraft has arrived. And it is spectacular. So, I think we all know where this one's going. It's going... You know... Places. It's going places. Oh, this doesn't grab micro blocks. This suddenly became... A Huge pain in the butt. Um, so with Bibliocraft, for those of you who don't know, uh, Bibliocraft has a lot of just really cool little like furniture items that you can make out of the different types of wood in the game. Uh, and the Nature Ahmad uh, and everything, uh, this new version of Bibliocraft, all of the different types of woods are usable for the furnitures. Uh, Bibliocraft was updated to accept all of them, um, which is super duper nifty. Crap. Eh. Okay, give me that. Alright. Um. So, I've been waiting for this for a long time. That's why the house isn't finished yet, because I was wanting to use the Bibliocraft stuff. Uh, because the, the guys that upload the videos on, like, the Mindcrack uh, Attack of the B-Team server, they've, they've had their Bibliocrafts, because they've been using the beta build. Feck! Guys, I'm real bad at this. Eh. Um, they've been using the beta build, which I haven't wanted to use because it's not as stable, and I would be super depressed if something irreversible were to happen to this world. Uh, wow. Get your aim right, bro. Um, but yes, that's why I hadn't updated it yet, but it is updated now. All is right in the world. Uh, let's see if we can, there we go. Bonk. Bonk. Alrighty. Just make as many of these as I can. Yoink. Well, there's one left of everything, isn't there? That's kind of a freaking waste. Alrighty. You do you. You do you. Just make them bigger. Whatever. Um, okay, so I have a ghost wood plank. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> that's not gonna cut it. Yikes! So, I was wanting some, like, cool bar stools. Uh, I'm gonna do bar stools and then a matching set of... Oh, yeah! Can't forget this. Bobbert! He's just, he's just the nicest guy. He's, he's a nice guy, Bobbert. Uh, Ender Pack. Ender Backpack. I was exploring yesterday and came across an Enderman with a backpack on! Got him a safari net and brought him over here so I could try and get the backpack off of him. Use my auto spawner to get it. So here it is. You can have it. All you have to do is put it on his... Is put it on. Oh, all you have to do to put it on is shift and break it. And to get into it, all you have to do is shift right click and it will place it on the ground. Then right click again to open it. Another way to carry materials with you. Is there a third page? With your knapsack on. Put, put to good use, Bobber with a heart. Thanks, Bobby. Get destroyed! No. <laughs> oh, nice guy. Nice guy. Good guy, Bobbert. Uh, yes, I cannot, can I? Certainly cannot do that. Boom. Am I looking styling? Oh, I look like I'm about to go, go to, like, third grade. Mom! Mom, put me on the bus! Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny. So sneak right click, place it. Right click and then open it. And sneak break and it puts it on. That is cool stuff. I like that. And if you just regularly break it, it drops. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So so if I'm sneaking, I actually break it. What happens? What happens? For science. Doesn't work. Okay. So I put it on. 
Eh. I can't take it off. What do I do with it? Okay, let's uh let's throw it right here for now. Oh, but it's facing the wrong way. Bobber, your gift. Ugh. Nailed it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> um Okay. Let's toss this crap away. Not that your book is crap, Bobber. Just I meant all the wood pieces. So I meant I didn't mean it. Um, so these chickens are very productive. I have set up an automatic chicken dispenser. So I have it completely full right now, the hopper and the dispenser. Um, so I don't have to sit here and just throw eggs repeatedly. I'm going to show you guys how that works. So we flick the left lever down into the on state. Flick the right lever down, and it'll tick once. Flick the right lever back up, and toggle this super fast. Boom. 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 And I will show you why it is that works. Um, because I could set it up, like, if I was on a single player world, I could just set up this looping redstone signal really, really easily. Um, and leave it on. But on a server, it, it ticks the server every single time, so it's really bad for performance over a prolonged period of time. So I set this up, uh, as a, as a remedy to that. So I only turn it on when I need to throw some eggs. So... The first lever is connected to this piston, sticky piston, which is connected to the cobblestone. So the cobblestone actually completes the circuit. Uh, then you flick this one to give it the redstone signal, flick it off, and since it's a circuit in the round, like completed, it retains its charge. So even if you flick that off, it's still got charge. And then when you flick this really fast, it breaks, it breaks the uh, the signal up, uh, kind of splits it in half, and it comes right back around so that it. So when the signal breaks, it starts to travel around through the uh, repeaters. It's uh, by the time it's come back around, uh, the the cobblestone is back in place. So hopefully that makes sense. That's the best way I know how to explain it. But we don't want that. Oops. Yeah, we don't want that affecting our performance. Oh boy, that really went. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take six stacks. Three. Okay. Oops. Let's take two more. Bump, bump. And I'm telling you, these chickens are just having a field day. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that to you guys. So I set that up to make that process a little bit easier on myself. I only run it when people aren't on the server, because I feel bad otherwise. <laughs> Performance is not great. Okay, do I have enough ghost wood? Absolutely I does. Okay. Um slabs, let's grab. Uh just give me a stack of that ghost wood, actually. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stack will be good. Boom, boom. All right, and I was trying to decide which kind of uh, seat I want because there are a couple different styles. Well, there's only one style of seat, but like with the uh, the material that I use, I think I'm gonna use all ghost wood. I know it's kind of samey, and I'm not crazy about that idea, but I need to see how it looks. Um, so this is just a ghostwood slab, a wool, wooden pressure plate, and two sticks. So, what kind of planky planks we got here? Um, let's grab, give me 16 spruce. And I'll turn those into the pressure plates and or sticks that I shall need. Now we need wool as well. Ooh. We are low on wool. That's because I made that carpet. Shucks. Um, give me shears. Okay. And then give me some bone meal. There we go. I'll just go dye a couple sheep and shear them. Not a big deal. It is not a very big deal. Sorry, that might be offensive. I don't know. So... Right now, IRL, uh, I'm assistant directing the Wizard of Oz at the high school I graduated from several years ago. 
Um, kids are doing a great job. Show's fantastic. But there is a downside to me being in that position is it is a very technically complex show. Like, we have a lot of effects, and there's a ridiculous amount of drops, and we don't have a lot of pipes to hang the drops on, so we're West Coasting stuff. For those of you that don't know, West Coasting means uh, you have two drops on one pipe, and one of the drops is actually rolled up near the top. So you use you have the first drop you need down already, and then uh, you have your second drop rolled up, and when you need it, you pull the whole thing down and then unwrap it, and it'll unravel onto the floor in front of the first drop. So we actually we have three things West Coasted at the beginning, and then we have to West Coast three different pipes during the show, which is... Kirize. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Boom, boom. Okay. Do do. No. I need slabs first. Get with the program, drum kid. <laughs> what an idiot that guy is. Um. See, so yeah, we're west coasting pipes. That's super crazy. Oh, that's how you make the seat back. Okay. Ghostwood seat. So west coasting all these pipes, and we've got. Uh, hmm. I wonder. If I put it here, I right click. Okay, that still works. Having it right up against there. See, it's low now, though. So, I can actually break this and actually put stuff. Oh, that's exciting. Because there's something I wanted to put on here that I wasn't able to. Um, I'll show you guys that in a second. Okay, I like that because it matches. And I think it'll be... See, I'm worried that there's going to be too much... Can I use dead wood? I don't think you can, because dead wood doesn't actually have a plank of itself. It's just the logs. Which is a piece of poop. Um, okay. Well, green was going to be my accent color. So, willow. Biomes of Plenty or Natura. So Biomes of Plenty is lighter. I don't think we have any willow. Might have to go a willow hunting. Um, off cam. But, uh... Uh, willow... Oh, yay. Okay. Let's give me 16 of those. Hooray! I did get some. Guys, I'm smart. Uh... I knew someday. So this is nature. So this is the darker. Perfect. Okay. Awesome possum. Man, that's a really cool looking wood. I like that. Um. But yeah, so it is... Oh, wow, I'm taking forever to tell this story. I do apologize. Um, It's a super technically intensive show. And, um... It, so, along with that, you know, we need a lot of crew. And it just so happens we don't have a lot of crew... So, myself and another gentleman by the name of Steven, who we are actually now pretty good friends, uh, met him, his new math teacher at the school, um, and he's been helping out with the uh, theater as well. Um, he and I are actually part of stage crew. Oh, you know what? This is going to have us... Oh, do you just... How do you know what direction to put me? Oh, you just go the direction you're facing. Okay, well, that kind of works, then. Alright. How does this look when we're just sitting? Oh, perfect. That's fantastic. Womp. Oh, I love Bibliocraft. It's so good. Um, but, yeah, so... So, we're, we're actually helping out on stage crew, and stuff is absolutely insane. Uh, and that's where I've come from. Early, early this morning, past three days, I've woken up at 6.15 a.m. to go do these shows for... Because they perform for the other high school members, and then they do the uh, nighttime shows for the actual audiences that pay for tickets. So, better be good. Um, and uh, I'm just taking a look, seeing how I feel about that. Whether or not I even want backs on these. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. 
So we, we've been getting ready for that. And actually, the first nighttime performance is tonight. Hmm. Okay. You know, uh, let me, let's take a quick peek at the backs. Um, what's a good, like, bar stool back? I think these. But see, do I really need a back on that? I don't think so. I don't think I do. Oh, these. These little, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, absolutely. So I can use ghostwood on this. I think I can. Ghostwood, so it's one. Okay. Alrighty, bonky. Yes. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I really like that. It's really small. It's really simple. Good job. Mod makers. Good job. Oh, feck. Ugh. Hold on. Can I just take the back off? No. That would be way too simple. Ugh. Okay. So maybe it does matter which way you place it. For the sake of putting the back on it. Womp. Womp. Alright, cool. Loverly. I love it. I love it so much. Alright, so we want to put Uno, Dos, Trace, Cuatro, Cinco, Seis, Siete, Ocho. So, I'm going to need a lot more of that wool. Let's go grab that while I continue story time with DK92 Professor Edition. Um, but yeah, so shit, shit's getting crazy. I took two exams yesterday. And they went sort of alright. So I'm not sweating it. I'm not sweating it at all. Um, that's purple. Not, not really what I want. But I wonder if I can change the color of the wool when I craft. When I do a crafting. Hmm. That's a good question. He asks. Oh, am I? This is still running, isn't it? No, I stopped it because internet. Okay. Um. All right. Head on up here and back down into Le Kitchiones. That's not even close to Spanish for kitchen. Um. Okay, so we just have to make the seats. Okay, so we need eight. Now, but I first need eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Nope, not yet. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So I'm going to use these color seats. No. Place it right, why don't you? Yeesh. Use these color seats, and then I'm going to use the fur for the back of the seats. And then I'm going to I'm going to, on the ends... Those are going to be the special ones. I mean, these for the end. So it's two of those. Oh, and then one of these. Yeesh. So one and six. Yoink. Yoink. Nope. I'm the worst in the world at everything right now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right. Bonk. Oh, it changes the color of the base then. Interesting. So you can't have multicolored base. And today stink. Okay. Oh, but I really, I really like that. And then we'll tie in the green with a carpet underneath. I think this doesn't break if you break the block underneath it, does it? No, it does not. Good to know. Bonk bonk. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll put some carpet there. All right. So I am gonna go shear some sheepy doos, and I will be right back when I've got. 
the rest of the backings on these chairs. So see y'all in a second. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. I have the seats set up, and right now, I'm going to craft myself some carpet. Right, so here's the green carpet. Let me grab two more string. And so as you can see, the carpet is just crafted by surrounding a string with eight blocks of whatever colored wool it is that you want the carpet to be made out of. And they've got all kinds of fancy patterns to go with the different colors. Um, the black is what Taters and I have been using the most upstairs. On uh, each of these rooms is actually going to have its own color, uh, color theme. I'm actually going to change the carpet in here. I'll probably replace... I'll put these blue carpet blocks in place of these and put the black where these were probably because I want to I want the main theme to be black and then each room have its own color so this room's gonna be gold because there'll be a big old chandelier hanging there and then um, this room's gonna be purple or red I'm not sure which uh, the bedroom probably like a royal purple um, this room is green obviously as I've said and I'm not sure which what color I want to make that room just yet so let's turn into a bat. And let's get rid of all of these pesky palm blocks. Just a heads up, I have absolutely no idea where I was or like where I was in terms of telling a story or what my point was. So I apologize because I'm not gonna finish it. I think the moral of the story is I haven't had a lot of time to record lately and I'm really freaking excited I'm able to record this. I'm so super duper happy. Alright, so let's throw the green in here. Two, three. One, two, three. We are one short. That is a bummer. Und half. And then we're going to be really short on these. Boom. Uh, let's leave that one open so we can place that later. Okay, so make one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so make more black and one more green. Got it. I can handle that in my bat form. All right, green. Give me uno more of those. Uh, ink. Give me uno more of those. Give me two more string. And give me 16 wool of any color. Doesn't matter, there's already black there. So give me, give me 16 black. That'll work. I'll leave that there. Boom. Boom. Fantastic. I love, love, love that inventory system. If you can't tell. Whoop. Boop. Choop. Yonk. Wonk. Bonk. Alrighty. Okay, up we go. Flying is the best thing about this mod pack. Boom. Do do. Okay. Wow. That looks fantastic, actually. Oh. Okay, cool. I can place it between the legs. Fantastic. Alright, that was the perfect number of black then. Look at that. Look how that ties those colors together. I really like that. I think I might replace this deadwood block right here with... Yeah, let's do it right now. Let's do it with the carpet. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to replace those lanterns. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. Four. Chair, get out of my way. Five. There we go. That helps. Um, and then I'll have... We're going to have some cabinets, and it'll be more of this green color in here. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Uh, also, the nice thing about these carpets is they have the connected textures, so it's easier to get a differentiated pattern with them. Uh, like here. How this is all black on the outside. This is all just gray. But see how it all connects to itself? The individual colors do. Really, really helps. Um, awesome. Oh, that is super nice. 
Welcome to my mansion. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Side note. Mention. Wanted to mention this. Um. If you guys have noticed, there has not been the like appropriate. Um. There have not been thumbnails on my videos. It is because. My trial on Adobe Photoshop ran out, and if this does not have the appropriate thumbnail, that means I have yet to remedy said situation by doing various acts that are questionable in nature. Um, <laughs> oh crap, what was I doing? Um, <laughs> okay, so I need to make cookies. I need one redstone. One piece of iron. And two, three, four. Um, but I'll be moving home not too long from when this gets uploaded. And the internet there is different than the internet here. And so I will be able to... Okay, so cocoa beans in two weeks. Um, I will be able to remedy that situation. I don't have cocoa beans. Are you kidding me right now? Are you for real? Cocoa. I don't have cocoa beans. This is a joke, right? For real? Okay, well, that's bummer and a half. That's all I have to say about that. Looks like I cannot make that yet. I was just going to put cookie jar there. I know one more thing I can do. Um, three quart slabs. Okay. I know I got quartz. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Just give me six of those. I'm gonna say, I know I got quartz, man. I have mined it and mined it. Like a Minecraft pro. Huh. There we go. Alright. Oh, this area looks much more alive. Uh, womp. No, you dummy. Do that. Yeesh. Boom. Just make them all. All eight of them. One for everybody. Everybody gets a dinner plate. <laughs> oh, that rocks. I wonder if you can, like... <gasps> no freaking way. Guys... For real? Got my... Got my steak knife. Um... <laughs> uh, that'll do it for today's episode. I just wanted to update you guys on the situation. Wanted to get this stuff set. And I wanted to let you guys know what we're going to be doing for a little while. Uh, we're going to be dressing up the house and getting stuff set for... Uh, making it look all purdy like on the inside. So thank you all for your support and your patience. And I will see you all next time on whatever video it is that I upload next. Bada boom. Bada bing.